Today we are going to show uh, the methods of exponential equations and logs in A-levels. And let's start the lesson with this exercise. Find two three significant figures the value of the x in this equation. 5 to the power of x equals 7. An equation, when the unknown is a power, then the one effective way to find the unknown is to take the log on both sides. So by taking the log of 5 to the power of x equals log 7, and then the x comes in front as x log 5 is equal to log 7 divided by log 5, we found the value of x as 1.21. This is the method of finding the unknown when it's a power. The second part, we need to solve the equation 5 to the power of 2x minus 12 bracket 5 to the power of x plus 35 is equal to 0. In this case, we need to make a substitution so we can change this equation into a quadratic. So I can write this equation as 5 to the power of x bracket square minus 12 bracket 5 to the power of x plus 35 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic by using the substitution w equals 5 to the power of x. So the equation is w squared minus 12w plus 35 is equal to 0. I factorize as w minus 5 times w minus 7 e equal to 0. So the two solutions are plus 5 and plus 7. And since I found the values of w, I need to go to the original substitution, 5 to the power of x is equal to 5, then the value of x is 1. And the second solution is 5 to the power of x equals 7, and this is exactly what we found in part A of the exercise. This is exactly the first answer. So the x is 1.21. So remember this technique. If I have the exponential function and the unknown is a power, then instead of log, I take the, LN, the, natural, the natural logarithm, the ln, because the ln e is 1. And then I take the ln e to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to ln 2. The 2x plus 1 comes in front times the ln e equals ln 2, so the 2x plus 1 is equal to ln 2, subtracting 1 from both sides and dividing by 2, we have x equals ln 2 minus 1 over 2. And the same way we can solve the part a in question 3, 5 to the power of x equals 8, I take the log on both sides, so have x equals log 8 over log 5, so this is 1.29. The second equation have the logarithms properties. I have the log bracket x plus 1 minus log x equals log 7. In this case, because I have a subtraction of two logs here, I need to use the property log a minus log b is log a over b. I make it a fraction and then I have log x plus 1 over x equals logarithm of 7. The two log cancel out and I have an algebraic fraction equation, so it's x plus 1 over x equals 7. By cross-multiplication, we can find the x equals 1 over 6. The other style of exponential functions is when we use modeling in modeling questions. And I have this modeling here with growth of is the population growth. This model represents the population of rabbits and it's grown exponentially using the function a t times the e to the power of 1 over 3 t. And the question here, here we have the population of rabbits t years after they were introduced in the island. And the question is asking to find the number of rabbits that were initially introduced to the island. So it's very easy to answer this question once we recognize the value of the t. If you're going to find the initial value of the population, then obviously I need to make the t equal 0. The t equal 0 represents the population now. So by using the value of t0 into the above model, then I have the initial population as a t. Okay, all I did, I do e to the power of 0 is 1. I've done the calculations on the right hand side, so the p is 80. The part b find the number of years 
it takes for the number of rabbits to exceed a thousand. So in this case, uh, the number of years is the unknown, the t is the unknown, and the population is the thousand. Once I found the number of years that the population is exactly a thousand, then I, ca I know exactly how many it will go over a thousand. So by making an equation, a thousand is equal to 80 times the exponential 130, and dividing both sides by 80, I have the equation 12.5 equals exponential 130, and now I take the natural logarithm, the ln on both sides, and I take a ln 12.5 is equal to 130 times a ln e, and this equation gives you exactly the number of years the population is going to be equal to a thousand, and the value is 7.6 year, 7.6 years, which means the population go over thousand after approximately eight years. It's very useful to know the graphs of the exponential functions. The first graph represents a growth function because you see it starts flat but is increasing in the positive domain of x. The other graph represent, with a negative power, the e to the power of minus x, represents a declining population, a decay. So this is represented by this type of graph, where it starts going down very steeply here, and then go flat towards the positive side of x. And the part c asks you to find the dp over dt, which means is the change of the population when we change the time, is the derivative of the population when we change the time. So we need to find the change in population after we change the time by one year. So the derivative of the dp over dt, I found the derivative using the rule of exponentials, which is the dy over dx, the derivative of ax is a, so the dy over dx is a times e to the power of ax, exactly the same rule I'm going to use to differentiate the p, is equal to 80 times e to the power of minus 1 over 3t. The minus 1 third comes in front, so I times by 80, so I have minus 80 over 3 times e to the power of minus 1 third t, and then the dp the change in population, the derivative is minus 26.7 exponential minus one third t. And finally, to find the population when the derivative is 50, all I need to do is to use the derivative expression I found here on the previous, to find the derivative expression, and make it equal to 50 and find what is the value of the t. Okay, so I get minus 26.7 times the e to the power of minus 130 is equal to 50. By dividing both sides by minus 26.7, I have an exponential to the power of minus 130 is equal to minus 500 over 260. By solving this equation, you find the value of the t is 5.6 years and all you need to do now, basically, is to find the population. Okay, so we just, we use this value of time into the population formula and find the population. So we do 80 times the exponential minus one third times 5.6. This gives you approximate population about 12. So you remember, we started with 80 and it has been reduced to 12 after 5.6 years, and that is why it's a decay model, it's a, it's a negative power, it's decreasing. And this is all of the important topics of exponentials, in most of the topics in exponentials in A level, which is a good idea to know how to solve this type of exercise in, during the exams. And this is an important topic in A level mathematics. So if you have a question, you may leave a comment. If you like the lesson, please subscribe so you can help the channel. 
and you can see here on this channel different topics at different levels like GCSE A level university level so if you want to practice your mathematics you can watch my videos thank you for watching